Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the first Christmas thrift lit video of the season and I am super excited. Let's just go ahead and get into it and I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I purchased this set of super cute bookends at Goodwill. They do have a nice chippy look to them already, but when I saw them, it reminded me of a Christmas tree. I think it's little tassels, but I immediately saw a tr Christmas tree. So what I wanna do is paint this piece green and red using Dixie Belle's chalk paint. I'm gonna use my pointed sash and the colored collared greens to paint the bottom part green. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how beautiful this color is. If you're kind of looking for a deeper green color for the holidays, this is definitely it. I just did one coat of paint on here because I do plan on distressing it, but change of plans, I am in love with the way this green color looks with this beige color. So I don't even feel like we need to add some red. Now I'm just gonna distress it like I said because I wanna tie in the distressing happening on the little balls um, onto the green and it'll just bring everything together. Now I'm using sandpaper because I feel like with this piece, I just have a lot more control with the sandpaper. I just want to bring out some of the details and not distress it too much, but I'm going to show y'all the difference because I did do this one. You can see how the bottom is just so much more distressed. This is what distress. And then I tried the top with the sandpaper and I just feel like I have so much more control. So if you like this look, that is cool. But I feel like for this piece, the less distressing looks better. So guys, just remember that it is paint. And if you try something and you don't like it, no biggie, you can just repaint it. So I'm just going to repaint the bottom of this and then distress it so it looks like the rest of the piece. The last thing I need to do is just seal this up with some Dixie Belle clear wax and Dixie Belle's French tip brush. These are only $14 on the website, guys. So if you're ordering something on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com, I highly recommend throwing in this brush. You will definitely not regret it. It makes it so easy to get into all the details when you are waxing. So this clear wax will seal everything up and these cute pieces will be ready to go. And y'all let me know if you think I made the right decision not painting these little pieces red. I picked up this piece most likely at the Goodwill bins. Y'all know I love this when it's framed at the top and the bottom, like a little tapestry, but I do not love what's happening in the middle. I think this is the perfect size to add IOD's new old Christmas tree mold. Look at this very large Christmas tree that you get on here. And if I have enough room, I might be able to add this star as well. Since the Christmas tree is so large and it is going on a flat surface, I think it's a perfect candidate to put resin instead of clay on this. And I do have this resin available on my website. It comes in part A and part B and you pour equal parts and then mix them together. Once it is thoroughly mixed, then you're going to pour it into your mold. Resin is a great option if you have a big piece like this and it's also very, very detailed because the resin is really gonna pick up all of the details in this piece. Now I'm gonna take my little, um, what is this called? Popsicle stick, yeah. <laughs> and just help it go into all the little edges. Now the directions say that it takes two minutes for the reaction to start, but honestly, I think it happens a lot quicker than that. So once you get your resin mix, just make sure you start to pour it and use it very quickly. As the resin dries, it's going to turn white and it has a 10 minute cure time. So it is definitely very quick and easy to use and does not take long. So you're ready to put it on your piece within 10 minutes. Once your piece is dry, it will pop right out of the mold. Look at all the detail. Also, since it's not fully cure, 
it is a little bit bendable so if you wanted to put it on a curved surface this would be a good time i don't think that i'm going to have room for the star so i'm just going to do the tree and i'm going to use some gorilla glue and i'm also going to use a few dots of hot glue just to keep it in place while the gorilla glue dries and i can just you know move on with this project instead of waiting for it to dry I do like a pretty neutral palette for Christmas. I know that is absolutely shocking to y'all. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to paint the entire piece white. Well, not the wood, but the Christmas tree and the background. I want to go ahead and paint that white. I am using fusion paint in the color Victorian lace. Of course, the resin is white, so you can just leave it white and not paint it. But I do want my background and the Christmas tree to be the same color. I am using Fusion's Pointed Sash. It is perfect for projects like this where there is tons of little details. The point perfectly gets into those and then when you need to cut in, it is very easy with the point as well. I am absolutely loving the way that this looks. Look at all the texture in this Christmas tree, but I do want to make just a little bit of texture in the background. So I'm just taking my paintbrush. It has just a tiny bit of paint on it and I'm just going to stipple it on there. And that's just going to create a little bit of texture. Oh, try not to get it on your wood pieces. Don't you love the combination of the wood with the white? But yeah, this is just going to give my background just a tiny tiny bit of texture it is looking so good so far and I could definitely just leave it like this but I do want to add some embellishment so I'm going to use Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax and on top of the Christmas tree they do have some little balls so I just want to go over the little balls with just a little bit of the gilding wax now when you're using this it dries really quickly and it's hard to get it off once you have it on something. So do not use your good paintbrushes with the gilding wax. Make sure you use a paintbrush. That is no big deal if you have to end up throwing it away. And as you can see, I just went very subtle with the gold gilding wax, but it just added a little extra detail. Now I want to take this. This is the foggy morning bush. It is available on my website. And I just want to go ahead and cut off a few sprigs of it. And then with some jute twine, I'm just going to tie it to the top of the piece. I think this little pop of red and green with all this white and wood is going to look really pretty. I want to take a quick minute to tell y'all about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace has all you need to power your e-commerce website. What I love is the ease of use, especially on the app and listing items, which is something that I do every single day. So open the app on my phone, I take my pictures, and you can also finish the listing in the app so you can add your title, your description, your price, and your quantity. That is definitely important. And it is easy as that to list an item. I honestly can't say enough good things about how easy Squarespace is to use. And if you do have any questions, remember they have that 24 hour help center. I actually used it yesterday because I needed some help. I got on there, I chatted with uh, customer support and we were able to fix the issue super quickly. So if you're interested in starting your own website, y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs and use code Julie's Designs and Signs to get 10% off your first website or domain. All right, guys, let's get back to our Christmas DIYs. This is a very large enamel bucket that I've had on the website for a while. It hasn't sold. So today I want to add an embellishment to it. This is one of IOD's new holiday transfers. It's called Candy Cottage. 
and it's full of beautiful florals. I love this Santa right here. You got a red truck, you got some candy canes, you have some more Santas. It definitely has a very vintage feel. Ooh, I really love this Christmas tree with the roses right here and lots of greenery. I'm thinking this piece will be absolutely perfect for this bucket. I'm going to pull the backer off of my transfer and then I'm going to place it exactly where I want it on the bucket. I want to kind of make sure it is centered in between the handles and I'm going to take a piece of tape and just tape it down. That way it stays in place and does not move. All of your transfers come with a transfer tool and you're just going to rub it over the image and it's going to transfer onto the bucket. If you have not tried a transfer on enamel, it does transfer very well. Y'all can see how quickly that came on. If you have a little piece that doesn't transfer, you just put it back down and you continue to rub over it with the transfer tool. But usually slicker surfaces, it transfers very well and enamel is definitely a slicker surface. This is the quickest DIY I have done in a while. It transferred so easily onto here. Look how great this looks. It is now ready for the holiday season. I also love how it's not a bright red. It's a very more muted red that looks perfect with the enamel and the black. And if you wanna use this bucket year round, you could simply just turn it around and the other side is blank. If you have not checked out my website lately, you absolutely should because I have lots of new greenery. This is just one of the Christmas greeneries that I offer. It is called Foggy Morning Red and I have it in a half sphere, also in a candle ring and a bush. So y'all definitely go check it, check it out. I tried to pick greenery that had a vintage vibe and goes along with my style of decor. And these definitely check those boxes. I absolutely love them. I always pick up these spools of thread and string when I find them. The colors are just perfection. And I use them in my decor all year long, but I wanna give y'all a really Fun idea on what to do with these for Christmas. So you can take a sprig of greenery. You can get this one on my website. It's called the Foggy Morning Bush. Look at that. Look how cute that is. And then these are some Christmas trees that are thrifted. Normally they come out of their bases really easy. So I'm just gonna pull them out, stick a Christmas tree in there, stick a Christmas tree in there. And how cute is that? These adorable little metal scissors are available on the website and I have them in three different sizes. All right guys, what did y'all think about the projects today? I've been trying to figure out which one is my favorite and I honestly can't pick because I feel like they are all just so my style. Very muted Christmas, very vintage Christmas. I just absolutely love them. But if you have a favorite, let me know. Also, as you have probably seen, the IOD Christmas releases out. I do have still some available on my website. So y'all make sure to go check that out. Check out all the new greenery I got in. I've also been ordering some artwork that y'all have been absolutely loving. So make sure y'all go check out the website. Also make sure y'all signed up for my newsletter. That way you are the first to know when I do get new stuff in on the website. And if you're interested in starting your own website, y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs. And don't forget, they're giving my viewers 10% off. And you can use the code Julie's Designs and Signs. I will have everything linked in the description for y'all. I'm thinking next week we do another Christmas DIY, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all next week for our new DIY. Let me know if y'all want Christmas. Bye guys.